The government of St. Lucia has inaugurated a new jetty in Miku, providing relief to fishermen who have struggled with the pervasive sargassum seaweed along the shoreline. The thick layers of sargassum had created considerable difficulties for fishermen who previously had to wade through the dense seaweed to bring their boats ashore. The new wooden jetty promises to streamline this process, providing safer and more efficient landings. Along with the jetty, a washroom facility was also unveiled, ensuring hygiene and comfort for the fishermen and the wider community. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, says this is a great achievement for fishermen in Miku, as the new infrastructure will significantly improve the working conditions and overall safety, enhancing the livelihood of the fisher folk. Today I'm very excited and very happy for our fishers that the challenges in the past where they had to move manually the gas and other equipment that they need for fishing. They had challenges, they had to go in the water very early in the morning and just imagine a fisher has to leave in port 5, 5 30 in the morning sometimes. Sometimes they go to the fads very early in the morning and they had to swim to take the equipment to the boat. I'm very happy we have been able to get to where we are today. And the experiences and the challenges our fishers faced in the past has come to a reality that the jetty has been able to solve all that problem. The event saw a gathering of community members, government officials and fishermen, all of whom expressed their gratitude and optimism for the future. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, emphasized the importance of supporting local livelihoods, stating the jetty is more than just a structure. It is a vital support for our fishermen who contribute so much to the economy and culture. I want to thank the fisher people and the people of Miku for being patient with us. For being patient, having to wait for this necessity, they were patient. I want to thank them. And I want to say, as the Minister of Agriculture says, there are many, 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 many more things for the fisher people in this country and for the farmers of St. Lucia. The government's proactive approach to addressing challenges in the fisheries sector, exemplified by the new jetty in Miku, ensures that St. Lucia's fishing villages continue to thrive amidst natural challenges through sustainable solutions in agriculture and fisheries. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.